Hey guys, welcome back to the Origins of Species. Mod Resident Evil 2. So we just finished the Tyrant. We killed him pretty good. But not that great. He was seemed to be stronger than the others. He had three ink ribbons on him. Which I took gladly. Which is gonna help the next bit. Was we're in the laboratories. The laboratories you can expect naked zombies, liquors, and plants. Yeah, so we need to make sure we got the flamethrower, which we have. Oh, naked zombies for now. Is that a golem, are you? It is. Boom. He was happy to see me. I was happy to see him. Okay, uh, well, we got a runner. Maybe we can run past these. Sorry, mate. Didn't really feel like um, bothering with you too much. Bye. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Oh, I almost give him a chance. He is eyes lit right up. Right, so we can go. First off, I like to go through the red room, then the blue, then blue red. Seems to make sense to me. Oh, okay. Let's burn these. Shh. Fucking burn. Yeah. Bloody power powerful. I mean, it only takes a couple of, uh, blows. But I thought I'd hold it. Oh. Hmm. Shotgun, I think. Definitely shotgun. Oh, beautiful. Oh, okay, not beautiful. Was that even my foot there? I don't even think you grabbed me, really, did you? I don't think you did, anyway. Uh, we're quite bad on armor here. Oh, he's coming. He's got a runner. <laughs> oh, easy. Took his head clean off. More shotties. Nice. Ooh, lovely. What the hell? Oh, two lots. And shotgun parts as well, oh. We could have um, used these parts to load up our shotgun. We could use the five shells now. Oh, yeah, we'll use the five shells up and then when it gets a little bit low, we'll combine it so we've got full shotgun bullets. It's a little uh, trick you can do. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, hello. Boom. Okay. This... I think you're meant to have the shotgun here. The more powerful one. To... Blow these back a little bit easier, I think. Let's test it out. How do you like my new shotgun? Oh, give us a chance. Now they didn't seem to like it too much. Lucky for me. God, we got hit so much there. We got hit up. Hmm. Card, lab card key. Well, now we can go in the moth room, which we were earlier, near the liquors. Oh, lovely. How convenient. Just when we was... <laughs> we could have just used our other health, really, couldn't we? Right, so we got a flamethrower for the plants. We got a shotgun for zombies and anything else. Liquors. Obviously, the shotgun now is going to be a lot better. Going to be a lot powerful against living things. It has like a bit of knockback when Leon uses it. When Chris uses it, it doesn't have knockback. I think it's something to do with his big arms. I think. You know, Leon's arms are pretty big in this. Probably because they couldn't be bothered to change the model. I'm gonna burn you like a crisp. I'm gonna burn you like a red herb. You're gonna be so burnt. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, well, you didn't poison me anyway. Well, you didn't hurt me that much. See, I'm fine. Nothing here. Oh, another one up here. Oh, why are there all the plants hanging out here? What's so special about this area? Strong fertilizer around here, is it? You need a little bit before they uh, give in and keel over. 
Alright, so we've got the card key, and what else is in here? Oh yeah, it's the fuse, isn't it? Yeah, the fuse case. And we got to freeze it or something as well. Nothing else seems to be in here, as far as I know. I think there's something in the main game here. Maybe some shotgun shells or something. Right, so we're off to freeze the fuse first, is it? I think we got to freeze it, yeah. And then we go back to the middle point, slot it in there, it does something. Can't really remember what it does. I think I've never played this before, innit? Shotgun shells, more handgun, bullets. We're doing so well right now. It's all those savings that we made in the beginning. Now things are really paying off. I mean, if you save a little bit of bullets and dodge a few enemies at the start of Resident Evil games, the end game gets so much easier for you. And vice versa, if you don't end up doing that, you're going to struggle. Well, because, like, we struggled a little bit in the middle. And then at the beginning. But we're so ready for this, I can't even... I can't see us having any problem, to be honest. And then, let's quickly... Rush this bit now. Get to the next area, which is the blue area. Can't really remember what's up ahead. But we've got all the materials to deal with it. The hell? What's the wrong way in it? Yeah, yeah, we need to put the fuse in first. What does the fuse do? Oh, it bloody helps you like with the shutters, don't it? We'll go back to the red and open like the shutters which weren't open before, of course, yes. West area. Let's check out West area first. Ooh, I knew you were coming. I that bit they love to put an enemy there just to uh catch you off guard. Lovely. God, sorry guys, I'm feeling a little bit tired today. I don't know whether... Probably coming across. But I want to carry on playing and finish this. I've been playing for quite some time now. Right, gotta be on the ball here. Lick us. Just remain quiet here. Take our time. They're making it pretty hard for us, though. Might have to take one at least out. Yeah, we're gonna have to take this all out. We got Chris's shotgun, so we're not afraid of you. Time to perfection. Only two shots with a powerful shotgun. Yeah, remake. Take notes. Two shots. <laughs> on the remake, if on hardcore, it was probably about six shots or something. I'm not exaggerating. Play for yourself. Hello. Bye. That's a dumb liquor right there. I'm surprised you guys are not awake yet. Perhaps you're waiting for me to um, go to the moth area and when you'll be there when I come back. Nice for you to wait around for me. Right, so off to the lab we go. We already know the code. The code is Red Eye. It's a picture of Wesker there. With his sunglasses, it just says Red. It doesn't say Red Eye, but... What's under the glasses is Red Eyes. So... Yeah, how you meant to work that out, I don't know. It's a bit of a hint. Oh god. Ain't you pretty? It means you're just gonna sit there. I might as well just unload into you. Just like this. Not use my big stuff. Ooh. He cut him nice and half. Look at him. Beautiful, isn't he? Oh, God, this is a lively one. He's got a bit more life in him. Might have to get my shotgun out if he keeps up like this. Nah, he's fine, guys. <laughs> Worst day I ever. They're <laughs> just looking at me like, they just don't care, do they? Just shoot me. Die. I, I'm happy to die. <laughs> oh. 
Is this even hitting him? How about now? God, you guys are worst. Look at you. Oh, 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 oh my god. Okay, you're not that bad. Now nah, you're still bad. Oh my god. I just flap around doing nothing. Oh, get, get off my computer, you stupid ugly shit. Oh, beautiful double kill. I will operate the computer. It's already changed for you. Experiment, room, staff, registry. Enter your username. My username is Red Eye. Because, uh... We're Wesker and we have red eyes. And this is our new... A new, uh... Oh, what the fuck have I done? <laughs> Alright, let's backspace that. Red Eye. What a name. I know all the passwords now and uh, count details to Wesker's... Thing. I'm guessing this is Wesker's computer. Who knows? Read the law, Pete. I will one day. Right, where do we need to go next? Uh, got my head's hurting. I can't think. Oh, hello. Nice for you to, you know, rise from your grave. How about I put you back down? Oh, not just your head, but your arm as well. Oh, that's brutal, baby. Yeah, we've got to go to that room, that experiment lab room with a G. Adult is that. Yeah, because that's where the extra prints were. Oh, and the card key. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. So I just dropped down a save. We're ready to go to the G adult room and other rooms that we've left behind. Oh, hi guys. I'm glad you're all awake. Fucking hell. <laughs> you seem to have something wrong with your walking there. I would see a doctor about that. Or maybe your legs seem to have give way on you. Oh, we got a solitary, um... Licker here. He's causing no problem of mine. I I'll let him live. Lickers are always friendly creatures anyway. You shouldn't uh, always kill them. They could become extinct that way. We won't want that, would we? Right, so head into... Is it the blue room now? The white is on the way back. Oh, hello. Nice to meet ya. Fancy getting a bit hot with Leon. Burn, burn. Just a couple of puffs is enough. Yep. Going to the blue sector. 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 Umbrella. What the hell am I talking about? <laughs> this is what happens when I get tired. Umbrella XDR. Yoko can access this uh, point quite easily as she is part of the Umbrella scientists. We can access it now. Now we've got the fingerprints of the old Weskies. Or someone. I don't know who was from, but we've got the fingerprints, okay? Don't question it. Oh, right. With these, you just gotta try and shake them off. You can stamp on them, I think, or run over them. So do it all twerkly on. Okay, knifing's not too effective. Oh my god, everything. You love me, don't you? Just need enough room so I can get past this G adult. That's all I'm asking for, right. That could be enough room. Don't know what's happened with this eyeball, there's... In black. Oh, you had to start take a nibble in my neck now, didn't you? Alright, this is the box key, so we're gonna do some backtracking. My god, you're slow. The only thing you've got on, on your side is that you're big fat and it's hard to get past you. But other than that, you're pretty easy, because I'm not getting hit by that. You've got your little minions to give me a little neck bite, and that's about it. So now we got the box key, we need to go all the way back to the locker, so... All the way back again. Oh. Almost run into a, a bit of a... Vegetable. <laughs> I think he was there before, I just forgot all about him. He was a, kind of irrelevant to me. But we've cooked a lot of vegetables today, haven't we? 
Cooked a lot of vegetables. Yes, Leon. You've never seen anything like it, have you? <laughs> He's looking at the plant. Sorry. Only one liquor in here. I want to keep him as a pet, so I'm going to keep him alive. Not unless he gets too big for his boots and he starts getting in our way. Oh, look at him. He, he's armless. He's just walking into the wall. Oh, he's got his mouth open. I think he's hungry. It's been a while. <laughs> he still proceeds to run after me. Does he realise how far away I am? You really thought you could get me? I've been playing this for too long. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, yeah. Something wrong with you, isn't it? You don't look too well. <laughs> look at the way they run. They're flapping their arms around like a penguin or something. Or a chicken. Whatever flaps their arms around like a crazy lunatic. Right, to the locker we go. See our friends again, the Golem crew. Hey, how's it going? <sighs> Alright, oh, we gotta go all the way back now. Ooh. See you later, Golem. We gotta go all the way to where the box was. A lot of backtracking again. Through the white room. Go down the elevator. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, it's worth killing at almost everything in this area, because you have to keep running past it multiple times. I don't know if we have to go to this area again. What's happened to your body? It looks kind of wrong. Oh, it's so cute the way they walk. Look at them go. Oh my god, don't get too close. Oh, oof. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, too clever. I thought I had him there. Didn't take any damage anyway. So screw you. Stupid zombies. Fuck! <sighs> Shit, I thought there would still be the liquor. Oh, bloody hell, damn it. Our friendly liquor's gone, guys. Oh, there's more? How many of them is there? There's piles of them. Oh, love it. Oh, look at that. Just Their body bits just flying all over the place. Probably in my hair right now. Oh, there's more. Can we skip these? Oh, my God. Look how many. Wow. Oh, God. You're having a right foursome there in the corner. <laughs> there must have been, what, eight, nine zombies all in one room? I'm surprised they managed to do that, because I didn't even th th think the game could fit all those like in a small area like that. Mm, sh power of the systems. West area, now we are going back again to... Where are we off to now? Oh yeah, we gotta go to the power room. Yeah, white doorway. And then... Back. We left a few friends out here for us, didn't we? Should have killed these. Probably time to kill them now. Can't get past them. Oh, that's... Not that effective against zombies. No, no, no. Whoa, now he's turned into a golem. Fuck. Piss off. Get stuffed by the key generator. I found a glitch, guys, in the game. Come over here. Come on. Let me cheese you. You deserve to be cheesed. How did he turn into a golem? I don't understand. Was he always a golem? Gollum seems to be happy enough anyway, just running into the, the key generator thing. Oh, this is taking a bit of time. Let's get 
Come on, I want to get on with things, guys. You're really prolonging this, and you're not dead even, are you? Oh. Please. Come on, just die for me. Well, I'm off. I've had enough of you guys. <laughs> the way they run. So funny. Anyway, guys, let's uh, get to the room. Let's speed it up a little bit for you. Welcome back, guys. Let's do this. Oh, caused a bit of an earthquake here, you fat bastard. Run! Ada. Ada. can't just leave you behind. I'm just a woman who fell in love with you. Nothing more. Ada. No. Ada! The self-destruct sequence has been activated. Repeat. The self-destruct sequence has been activated. This sequence may not be aborted. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. I will always remember you. Goodbye. Well, I hope you enjoyed Enjoyed that cutscene as much as I did. Just classic, in it. Ada! And the classic. I'm just a woman who fell in love with you. That's a great cutscene, I think. Uh, you only get it in B usually, but you decided to add it in this. It's just mixes of both. God, it's loud in here. I can hardly hear myself speak. Oh, damn it, Ada. I think Paul uh, does a great job, the voice actor for Leon as well. <laughs> Again, the motion there, you can really hear in his voice. Some great dialogue. Cheesy, iconic dialogue, but I still enjoyed it. Leon, you made it. Claire, is that you? Where are you? Wait a second! What are you gonna do? Where are you going? I still have a few loose ends to take care of. I'm counting on you. Hello? Claire, are you there? Claire! The security office? Yep, the security office. I know what it is, Leon. Don't worry about it. 
we need to save Sherry. Probably going to be a few surprises. But we're going to be ready for it. We've got the master key as well, which uh, lets us go all the way to the bottom floor. Bottom platform. You hear the lady. Let's go. We got the loadout we need. I believe we have. Let's get into this. Tyrant, I'm coming for you. You, st you stole the love of my life. You stole my l one last chance to get in laid. You're getting it. I've got a big fat shotgun with your name on it. But first, I gotta save a little girl. <laughs> Right. I was expecting zombies, if I'm honest. Might be worth using the Magnum just to finish them off real quick. Boom. Okay, they take more than two one shot. Oh shit, what am I doing? How is this not even hitting them? Time to book. Sherry, we, we have a bit of a problem. There's a couple of liquors outside. You'll be fine, right? Sherry, I've come to get you out of here. Claire is waiting for you. Oh, they've all pissed off. Must have run away scared. The monster that is Sherry Birkin. Don't blame them, to be honest. If they know what's in the side of her, they would take a runner. The G virus is the strongest thing you can... Well, it's a lot... It's one of the strongest viruses, isn't it? If not the strongest. Even though we got Mr. T here, giving it the large one. Right, we've activated the emergency elevator and we're going all the way down to the bottom platform. And we're doing some babysitting for Claire for a bit. Damn it, Claire. Why do you have to leave us with the infant? Yes, Leon. Amazing, isn't it? You want to jump on board so we can get out of here? <laughs> Just rest here for now. Claire should be back soon. I should hope so, because I don't want to look after you any longer. Saying that, if she can get the liquors to go like that, maybe she can do the same thing for the zombies. Maybe we should just carry her around the whole building and then they'll just piss off. Right, I'm going to put a quick save before doing this bit. I think it makes some sense because this tyrant's not always easy. Especially the one where you've got to put the plugs in. Yes, yeah, so thank you. I didn't want to look at the various objects. Oh, got a lovely box of something. Oh, Magnum. Well, we could reload that and get some extra bullets, too. Not that we need to, we've got plenty. Anyway, guys. I'm going to get the ink ribbon. I'm going to save it. And we're going to get into Mr. T. Yo, welcome back. Going to just combine this straight off the bat. No, it's no point of saving now. We're right at the end. We just need to be f at full strength. Because we got big boy, Mr. Big T, man. Coming up. We need to be ready. First up, we need to... Get the fuses. Plant the fuses in. Get the cart... Working. It's weird, I always... F that sounds like it's coming from Ada's mouth to me. Maybe it is Ada. You know, she's tape recorded this for us. Yeah, we do need to go this way and get the plugs. What are these things called? Yeah, joint plugs. Like you get a car started, you know, you need to. Uh, we need to start up the engines. I think so, anyway. 
Yeah, all employees at the bottom platform and working on it. Simply plug these in and off we go. Final showdown. Not quite actually, but look at the beast. Look, listen to the music. Look at the stature of the man. All right, D don't don't big yourself up too much. You're going down. But first off, let's just run around in circles, because we know we like that. <laughs> it's so hard to dodge this one. He comes at you so fast and furious, just like the films. I think you can either waste the time or you can damage him and then Ada will throw down a rocket launcher. Ada, any time now? Maybe you have to do some damage to him first before that's the case. Anyhow, you want speed or something where you walk? Oh, I will use this. Ada, Leon, you just saw her. How could you not know it's not her? All right, fun's over. I'll let Leon take it away from here. Game over. <laughs> the thing is, when I was a child, I thought that was the coolest thing ever. Actually, still looking back on it, I still think it's pretty cool. Perhaps a little bit cringy for you younger audience. Uh, back in the day, it was cool. In the late 90s. Now it's... Not received that way, I bet. They should have kept that, though. Just They should have kept Game Over on the remake. It's just so iconic, isn't it? Alright, we gotta go all the way back now and start up this train. We got one... Well... One last fight with Birkin. Because we're not getting out of it that easy. Hey guys, this is Post Pete in editing. For some reason, my commentary just got lost here, but then it picks up a little bit later on. I'm not sure what happened. It just got deleted. Sometimes this sort of stuff happens in editing and video recording. Well, to me, anyway. <laughs> so I was just saying that I went back into the, the train here and I realized I didn't even open the gate. I want to back out, and yeah. They respawned. Nice of them to do so, wasn't it? So the live commentary will pick up again. In a little while. It's just, um, I don't know, it's just for this bit. So how the hell did I manage to forget that you've got to open the gate? You know, before you go back in. <laughs> At this point, we've got two minutes left, which isn't so bad. Now we can get through Leon and Peter. Oh, Leon, you really need to lift, I swear. I have to see when you're trying to lift that lever. Anyway, I'll leave you to the cutscenes and the rest of the video. Find my brother. You're right. 
This is just the beginning. What was that? Warning. Biohazardous outbreak imminent. The emergency system has been activated. This train will detonate. Alright, Leon, didn't you think you've overcooked that move quite enough? What's wrong? Claire's locked you out. That's not true, really, is it, Claire? You're just like, this problem is yours, Leon. Just leave me out of it. Ooh, a special knife. Maybe we we can knife him like we do in the remake. We've got the costumes like the remake. And we've got... Yeah, let's give him a knife. Could be handy. It doesn't seem to be anything different about this knife. Let's use it. On the remake, this looks brilliant, though. The way they redone this boss. Fantastic. Well, I'm going to try knifing him first. If it fails, we'll just have to reload. I think if you go to the far left of him, or our left, I should say, we can get a few knife kills. Kills? <laughs> a few knife hits in before he uh, kills us. Alright, we only got one first aid. Gonna have to just... Full pelt. I think he's gotta be almost at the end before he dies on this. You can't kill him, like, straight away anyway. No matter if you have a rocket launcher. Oh, you're giving me a hug at you? Come on, play ball with me. Ooh. Oh, what's this? Go on, Leon! Oh, yes! He added in another cutscene as well. Great. Well done, Camiso. That was a good touch. <laughs> Not backstabs. There's no need of it, Leon. Please stop. There's only a minute left. Oh god, I really took too long on this. Alright, wait for the iconic scene now. Warning. And the ending. Claire? Claire! Right here! Claire! I guess we all made it. 
just won't quit. Come on, we have to get out of here. Run! So, it's finally over. Sherry, you look terrible. No worse than you, Claire. Come on, time to leave. Now? What's wrong? Is something following us? We have to go. We don't have any time to waste. Go? Where? Hey, it's up to us to take out Umbrella. <laughs> I'd like to thank you all for joining me for this Let's Play. I won't be coming back to this mod until Clay. Clay side is uploaded. Because that is, he is working on the Clay side of things. That should be interesting to play, I think. I've not done a lot of Clay. Next up will probably be Mortal Knight Episode 2 and 3, if I can muster the energy and will to do it. I'm sure I will. I'm, I, I love a good challenge. It's just, um, been doing a lot of Let's Plays lately, and quite busy with life. Would like to get into some co-op stuff as well. Gotta find the right game, and see if everybody's free, though, first as well. Anyway, C, it's not so bad. A lot of backtracking, a lot of new stuff in this game. The backtracking was a bit of a pain. I think it had more backtracking than usual. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Take it easy, and I'll see you next time.